So, me and my brother Solomon, we used to run down into the basement when my parents were fighting. Problem was, we could still hear their voices through the vents. One day, Solomon got some of Dad's old beer cans from out the trash, taped them to the bottom of our shoes. He said, if we put them on, then we could drown out their voices with our feet. That's when I started tapping. Saul used to show me videos of the Nicholas brothers and the Three Stooges. I always liked Curly, but my brother thought Larry was the best. He said if we got real good, then we could have our own show, a vaudeville show. And a hundred years from now, people want to watch us on YouTube too. But after he died, I stopped tapping. I guess I just couldn't stand to hear the sound of my feet all alone like that. But then, one night, I had a dream. A team of Japanese ballerinas were leaping out the window of some skyscraper, one by one. I just stood and watched the whole thing. And when the last one hit the ground, boom, I woke up. My brother was dead, but his soul was still dancing. I found Solomon's old taps and started fixing them to a pair of crutches I got from the St. Vincent de Paul. And just like that, Crutch Tap was born. I like to go out at night when all the street lights are on. They look like spotlights, and I'm a star. But not many people can watch me dancing then, but that's okay. They're all probably asleep at home, dream about things, good things. But I figure, even if I'm dancing and no one's around, then that's just a little show that only God and Solomon could see. Sometimes, when I'm out there dancing, I find shoes. And Solomon used to say he was haunted by it. And I make sure to take a picture every time. The thing is, I never find them in pairs. It's always just one. I'm doing my first show. A real show. There's gonna be singing, dancing, magic, all the things we said we'd do. But the main attraction will be Crutch Tap. My jokes are getting better too. When I went to the psychiatrist the other day, she said that I was crazy. And when I asked for a second opinion, But sometimes, I forget the punchlines. When I asked for a second opinion, she said that I was ugly too. I can do almost 10 minutes now. I love Crush Tap. Crush Tap is the best. I just love it so much. Sometimes, when I'm out there, I swear, I can even feel my brother's hands grab the crutches as he takes a hold of his old taps. It sounds just like it used to.
I'm not a whole person anymore. And I don't think I ever will be. Part of me died with my brother. And I visit him now only in dreams. Every time I see a star fall, I wish for him. That could just be the neighbors flicking cigarettes out their windows. Crush Tap is my dream. It's our dream. And I think we must have been dreaming it up our whole lives. But if all your dreams come true, will you stop dreaming? Ah! <laughs> <laughs>